Would you believe me if I told you that the Afton that we supposedly see, or burnt trap that we supposedly see in Fire and Freddy's Security Breach is actually not Afton at all. It's a totally different entity. The Mimic. Let me explain. So before we actually go into this whole long video probably explaining everything of the Mimic, first of all, spoilers, if you do not want to get spoiled for anything of FNAF, you know, the whole stories, tales, and the pizza plex, even the story, the Mimic, then please leave now. It's literally going to spoil you of everything, so letting you know everything that happened in a short time span. And also, definitely, before we actually go on this video, just huge shout out to Jack. This video would not be possible. Why am I not followed? I don't know. I'm following him now, and you should probably go follow him too. But if it wasn't for Jack, this video literally would not be here right now. All this information, everything I'll be reading word by word, probably mess up one or two words because I'm, you know, always mess up things when I read things. But it's literally going to be word by word, showing home some images from Jack's original thread. This is his whole thread. It's a very, very, very long thread that also has lots of spoiler things. So, you know, if you want to go see the original thread, his Twitter page and thread is all linked in the link in the description below. So, if you want to go check it out and read it for yourself, you know, go there. It's definitely there. But all credits aside, without further ado, let's go and talk about the story of the Mimic. Like Jack says, you know, if you want more, a definite explanation of the events, he would suggest you going to read the books. Any other suggestions, you know, I mean, other resources that he, you know, he got it from. So, um, yeah, go do that if you want more detail. So now, starting with what he says. So, with that said, let's begin. The Mimic is an adaptive AI that was developed in the 80s by a man named Edward Murray. I probably butchered that. Who knows? This AI was put into an endoskeleton and was named the Mimic. The Mimic endoskeleton is a special endoskeleton that was made to be able to fit any kind of suit at any various sizes. This means that it can fit into both normal and spring lock suits. As an example, the Mimic was made to be a friend for the creator son and learned from mimicking human behavior, hence the name. The son had a white tiger plush that he would hold under his arm, and the mimic would curl its arm in the same way before it was given the plush of its own to hold. And you know, this plush was a white tiger. Remember this. Remember this white tiger. I guess it's important. Remember this image. Don't let this image leave your mind. Don't let it leave your mind. Edward's son died in front of him in a car accident. Yes, that escalated quickly, which led him to taking his anger out on the Mimic and blamed it for his son's death. He bashed in his head and did more damage to it. The outburst and treatment had a large effect on the Mimic. Uh, Edward's outburst led, it to the, led to the Mimic becoming much more violent toward people and also infecting it with agony, corrupting it even more. After this, the info we know becomes a bit more spread out, both from a timeline and general knowledge perspective. The Mimic has been around for a while and is likely to have been in Freddy's location in the past, or Freddy locations in the past. It's implied that it witnessed either MCI, Missing Child Incident, or the DCI, Death... It, the dead kid incident, the FNAF 2 location murders. It saw something it wasn't meant to see. And it was talking about the whole little 8-bit cutscene of the kids, you know, dying. The Mimic circuit board was the one thing that was the one that was scanned and help wanted. A game about the history and past tragedies of Freddy's. Glitch Trap repeats Taper Girl's distorted lines back to you to communicate in game, luring you back to the room in a way that mimics Afton's murders. It says here, uh, this. This part is sent to, uh, semi speculation as well. The Mimic being Glitch Trap slash Marware, a uh, male. Ugh, I'm. <laughs> told you I'm butchering this man. What makes sense with the current evidence we have? It's no confirmation of this being the case, and arguments could likely be will be made against it. Years later, uh, while constructing workers were cleaning out the old Freddy Fazbear Pizza Simulator location underneath the Being Bill Pizza Plex, a van arrived. This van contained the Mimic alongside the Glamrocks. The Mimic looked as if it survived a fire, but has a shiny tiny new head with rabbit ears. Hmm, coincidence. I'm going to throw a photo on the screen right now. Who, who, do you, who do you think it is? It says here. One of the construction workers, in an attempt to lessen the workload, ordered the Mimic to tear apart arms and heads off the spare endoskeletons lying around and throw them all into one large pit. The Mimic went through all, went through this, but 
in a callback to Phone Guy's line in FNAF 1 about the animatronic mistaken human, uh, humans for endoskeletons, the mimic began doing the same to all of the construction workers. Panic started to commence, and only one worker escaped, screaming for the Freddy Fazbear Pizza Simulator location to be sealed off. Says here, now concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here is if any is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They're, they're most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without his costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, Pizza, yep, yeah, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside of a Freddy Fazbear suit. For the next couple of years, only whispers sped about what happened. Eventually, a group of teens snuck a sneak into a location via outside vents. Uh, this led to the story being told in Tales from the Pizzaplex epilogues, where the mimic uh, the mimic has been hunting down one by one, has been hunting them down one by one, tearing their limb tearing them limb <laughs> from limb. Years later and we reach the Storyteller. Another story from Tales from the Pizzaplex. Edward is working on a Freddy's, uh, working at Freddy's after all these years due to the failure of his own company and have been arguing with the higher ups. Their decision to have an AI replace the creative team. The AI was hosted, and why did I say hostage? The AI was hosted in a large structure that was meant to resemble a uh, bubble. <laughs> Baumbo tree for symbolistic reasons uh, and was placed in the middle of the pizza plex sending instructions to other AIs attractions and animatronics after doing some snooping Edwin discovered an entire uh, entrance to the tree the Babaro is a prehistoric species with it's a symbol of life positive and positively in a landscape where little else can survive and thrive after making his way inside, he makes a horrifying discovery that the AI runs on a program called Mimic One and was hosted inside of an all too familiar white tiger head, confirming his worst fears. The white uh, tiger returns as a character from a VR booth in t uh, Tiger Rock. The Mimic's program, the Mimic One program, infects the rest of the Pizzaplex amplifying the personalities of the animatronics in a negative way after the storyteller goes online. Edwin ends up getting trapped inside of the tree and suffocates to his death. Now we cut to current day Security Beach, where the Mimic is what we know as Burn Trap, an unofficial name. The Mimic is wearing the corpse of its victim and old parts of the Spring Trap slash Burn Trap suits in order to mimic Afton further. Prior to the events of Security Beach, Vanessa and Gregory were bro both victims to Mimic 1, serving under it. Gregory, as mentioned in the story GGY from Tales of the Pizzaplex, was the wizard's favorite apprentice. Possibly due to Gregory reminding the mimic of Edwin's son, uh, its lost friend. At some point, Gregory broke free of his control, which led into the uh, events of Security Breach, you know, the game. The influence of the mimics one can still be seen across the Pizzaplex, despite the removal of the tree and its behavior of the animatronics. So at the end of the day, that is me literally butchering. I'm probably going to cut out some things that I did butcher out of, you know, because I'm a tabo reader. But anywho, long story short, the Afton that we see in the end that the blob somewhat kills that we thought Afton came back is actually not Afton, but it's the Mimic. The Mimic is obviously, like its name said, is meant to go and Mimic. So technically, long story short, uh, Edwin made a Mimic animatronic to go Mimic person's human's uh, personality so his son can have someone to, you know, be with company, but then his son ends up dying. His son also had a white tiger plush that he used to curl against his arm that Afton also does in the game, as you can see while he was walking in, you know, in the cutscene, and also when he was first getting out, you can see his arm is also curled while the plush, the white tiger plush would have been. So, of course, Edwin bashes out, puts his anger all into him, starts destroying him, bashing in his head, giving and is fueling the mimic with rage he you know years go by haven't been found until he's found like he just came out of a fire but he has a shiny new head with rabbit ears on with a new endo you know and then after that the employees want to you know just get a little cheat cut out of here says yo buddy you know just start tearing apart the arms and limbs of those endoskeletons to help make the world the work a lot easier for them but of course the mimic takes that too literally and also you know does that but getting a little bit confused what's a difference between a human and an endoskeleton he tears apart the head and limbs 
minds of every employee except for one, forcing and screaming to shut down and close and seal off the Farm Freddy's Pizza Real Simulator location, which eventually him being found again in the storyteller being the main system in the whole Babo tree that was in the original Pizza Pex before we actually played, which he had a whole white tiger head on. And of course, Edwin came back after working there, which sooner or later suffocated in that tree, which the mimic went and used his body to create Afton's kind of, you know, body by also using some of the burnt bits left behind in the, you know, Freddy Fazer, she's a place of, you know, Spring Trap's original suits or Afton's original suit, put it all together and made Burn Trap, or now, as we all know now, the Mimic. So yes, I hope, you know, that wasn't confusing at all and lets you explain what the Mimic actually is and how Afton did not survive this time. Afton's body parts is not there. The Endo is not there. The only thing remaining of Afton is just a little bit of the suits and that's really it. It's not really Afton in there. It's really the Mimic, but the Mimic is mimicking Afton literally one to one so it's gonna act like Afton even now looks like Afton that's why we all got confused but at the end of the day it's not Afton it's the mimic so you can either when you see Afton be like yo that's burn shaft or you could be like yo that's the mimic it's your choice to pick and in here I hope this video helped you understand who the mimic is and hopefully you know security beats are ruined we learn a lot about this because I would love to see this in game and you asked me for this video goodbye and again, huge shout out to Jack, you know, amazing person for letting me have the rights and <laughs> let me have permission to use this. See, I got permission. Yay.